Hi, family. How have you been? Um, how have I been? Uh, not super great. Um, I watched my last video that I posted yesterday and I was like, who is she? <laughs> How is she so happy? <laughs> and um, I guess I've just been feeling a lot of anxiety these days. And um, I haven't really wanted to like document that, but I think that feeling down or anxious or not the best version of yourself is just as valid as happy and excited and high on life. So I just thought I would make a video today and just check in with you. I've missed you. I love talking to you. It's one of my favorite things actually. So I thought we could just like paint together for a little bit. Um, I went to a meeting today and someone said something really, really insightful that I enjoyed a lot. He said that if you think about your mind as a whiteboard and there are all these scribbles on it, like it's so overwhelming, like, oh my gosh. He's like, you can just erase it. And then it's just a, a clear whiteboard again. And um, that really stuck with me and I really, I really liked it and I tried it and I just like saw all these different colors and just, just everywhere, it's just it scribbles everywhere. The whole whiteboard's full. That's how I feel inside. And then I just took an eraser and I just wiped it off. I just like felt better for a second. And then all of a sudden the whiteboard was full again. It's like, I just erased this. How's it full again? So I, I cleared it off again. And uh, it got full again, but, <laughs> but that's okay. The whiteboard's always gonna get full again, but you can always erase it as many times as you need to. I am painting this for my friend, Rachel. And uh, I have this dried rose from her dad's funeral. And I'm gonna use the rose petals on it. It's a pretty cool canvas. It's pretty thick. I love working on like a more substantial canvas. Everything always just looks nicer. So what did I do today? I studied. I took a test, got an A. That was a shocker. That was a really good moment. Just having wicked anxiety, just, whoa, really consuming. So I've been trying to stay really mindful about it and be like, this isn't gonna last forever. You know this is not gonna last forever, so just ride it out. Because I, before I just smoked, I didn't have to write it out and I could just live in that constant, you know, high, but it took maintenance, you know, it took a having to buy weed and having to get weed and 
having to get away to, from people so I could smoke. <laughs> and then having to like, I don't know, when, when people don't understand that you need to get high, they're like judging you like, and I'm like, whoa, you don't understand. Like, I need to do this, so just back off. And um, it's really, really nice not needing to do that anymore. Like, even though today was really hard, I have no desire to smoke weed, which is interesting. Um, and I can thank my, my higher power for that because I've, I've asked source, please take this for me. I don't, I don't want it. I can't hold it anymore. Please take it. And it, source took it. Um, I mean, I can take it back at any moment, but right now it's not mine. And I'm just really grateful for that. It's been replaced by other obsessive thoughts, but nothing's perfect. Uh, and I'll be fine. And I've just been asking God, please take this for me. Please take this for me. I don't want it. I can't hold it, it's too heavy. And I've also been giving God all of my good thoughts, like, like the other day my brother came home from lunch and we, we threw a ball around outside together and it was so fun, I had the best time and I said, God, you can have that. It was so special, it was so fun. I can't remember the last time I've just like played outside with Nolan. Um, so gave that to him too. I've been giving everything to, in my life to my higher power. Cause really, I just don't know what I'm doing. Look at that color right there. Oh, so cool. I literally just have no clue what I'm doing. And I just want to be a good person and I just want to live a good life and sometimes I just feel like a total mess up. But that's when I need to erase the whiteboard. Restart my day over because I'm not a mess up. I have a lot to offer. And, you know, I'm doing a lot of good things and I shouldn't be so hard on myself. I just can't believe how hard I am on myself sometimes. I don't know why. I believe we're all here on earth just trying to learn lessons and grow towards our highest potential. And learning lessons can be difficult. Learning lessons can be painful. So, I mean, I don't know why it's like that, but it's like that. just thinking I'm like why do we have to always like want things I wish I didn't want anything and I could just 
it was just easy to just appreciate all the things in front of me. It's so difficult to do that. Just be like, wow, my life is such a miracle. And just accept it. Just accept it for what it is. I'm not great at that, accepting things. Maybe that's why I have a problem feeling like I'm not accepted. Like I feel like I have a problem like that I'm not accepted. And then I have this insecurity that I'm not enough and people are gonna reject me. I have major like abandonment issues, like fear of rejection, fear I'm not good enough. Just wanna erase all of that. But you can't erase anything. I just have to like absorb it and then move forward. Move forward with a deeper understanding. Wow, it's just looking so good. You know, here's the funny thing. Like I did this and you watched me and it was so easy for me to do. Now I'm terrified I'm going to mess it up because I love it so much. I'm not going to mess it up though. I just need to keep doing that. Like I just watched myself doing something amazing and then I just like devalue it by being like, oh, I'm going to mess it up. Wow. Check in with anxieties. Checking in with my anxieties. Like, hey, what are you trying to tell me? I'm scared. That's what I, well, that's what's happening. I'm scared. What am I scared of? Well, that's awfully personal. No, seriously, what am I scared of? Being alone. I'm so scared of being alone. I want to be accepted. I want to be understood. I want to be... Why do I think that I'm not accepted and understood? I am, I just wanna be understood on a deeper level. Like a constant. Like a constant one. A constant learning. This looks so cool. I'm like totally obsessed with this. Are you kidding me? I just, I'm so obsessed with this. It looks amazing. I wish I had some, some like mirror, like some broken mirror. And then I could like collage it on. But I have this flower. So we're gonna see what we can do with this. Oh, get out of town. This looks amazing. The colors, this dark maroon with it. Oh my God. It's gonna be like a mosaic almost, I think. Wow. I'm super hyped on this. I think Rachel's gonna love it. You know, painting always makes me feel better. Like, look at me, I'm just like, complaining about how terrible I feel, but then actually I just have the best life ever because I can just come in here and paint. I can just come in here and create. It's like all these, all my anxieties just like 
Oh my God, guys, look at this color. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. Oh my God, you it literally looks like human skin. You can like see the veins and stuff in it. It's like iridescent. Oh my God, it's so cool. So cool. And this is like black. But it's like really cool. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with this? I gotta make some sort of design with it probably. So like, I'm just thinking, just thinking out loud. What if, what if we were all just best friends? And we could all just do like fun things together. Like, like I could just like paint and, and then someone else could be like making music and someone else could be like making pottery and we're all just like in the same room and we're all just like, <laughs> like creating together. We would feel so connected. That's what I want. That's what happy healing is. Totally. Happy healing is gonna have the warehouse out back and it's gonna be like a big warehouse and you can just like rent space, like create space and just do whatever you want out there. I mean, in a wholesome way, of course. It's very like uh, Andy Warhol inspired, the factory, silver factory, except wholesome. You know, I'm a wholesome lady. I just want to create, I just want to like be inspired by other people and by God and <sighs> wow, I don't know what I'm going to do with this because this is like so cool. All the petals are like incredible incredibly different, <laughs> like different levels of dried, <laughs> different colors, different sizes. What am I going to do here with this? It's like when I get to think about this stuff, it's so nice because it's like I Oh, this has got to go in the middle. It's a heart. It's for love. It's for Rachel. Her dad loves her. I was saying when I get to do stuff like this, this has to go in the middle. My brain can like stop like obsessing. I can just like be chill for 10 seconds. And it's like, do you know what flow state is? It's like I get into like flow state and then it's like, not everything feels like red alert. Like everything's gonna come crashing down on me. Like, why do we feel that way? Like, why do we feel like everything's just gonna like come crashing down on us? Like, everything's fucked. Get out. Get the lifeboats. Oh, dude, I'm figuring this out. This is amazing. I like get to figure it out, but there's no wrong answer, which is the coolest part. It's so cool. It looks so good. I'm gonna do like 
the heart in the middle and then like a circle coming off of it. And then it's like the outside of the petals will be the biggest and the inside of the petals are the smallest. Yes, yes, I'm loving it. I'm gonna like, have to get Mod Podge. Mod Podge. I wonder if I should like put all of these petals in a book and like flatten them first. Do you think that's a good idea? You have to find a book. Um, or should I just mod podge them now? Maybe I should flatten them. Okay, thank you for that inspiration. Wow. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. You really helped. You really helped there. Thank you. I'm gonna flatten them. Then I'm gonna mod podge them down tomorrow so I have something to look forward to. <sighs> okay. I just wanna remind you, everything's okay. Everything's gonna work out. We don't have a lot to worry about. Even though we're worrying, it's gonna be fine. This is a 20 minute video. I don't really think I said anything much, but <laughs> I love you. 